Okay, that's a little better. Now, I know most of you who've watched my videos have been thinking, oh man, it's been a long time since he's done a ghillie suit video. Well, there's only so much you can do with ghillie suit videos. So today I'm gonna to show you a new concept that I came up with here. It's called the uh, the ghillie mask. Underneath is a, uh, a mesh mask to protect your face when you're getting shot at. And then uh, just some ghillie material over the top of it so that it goes on your face. And uh, here, let me uh, pull some of this foliage out here real quick. Looks kind of like a goofy, ridiculous beard, but when you're in full ghillie, it actually works quite well. So, as you can see, uh, right here I'm using a stamped steel mesh mask underneath, uh, made by uh, Bitter End, uh, Bitter End Mesh Masks and Bitter End Goggle Systems. I highly recommend them. Um, great stamped steel, high quality mask. Went ahead and uh, put some holes through it, put some net on it, and uh, some uh, tied some jute to it so go ahead and go to the shop now and we will uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at how I did this up close and uh, this will just be a quick one but it's a highly useful tool if you're out here uh, wearing a ghillie suit and doing some uh, airsoft sniping so thanks for watching to make your ghillie suit mask you need a few things a mask or a wire mesh mask of any style a piece of net and some jute thread or twine or some burlap bags or whatever basically if you were going to make a ghillie suit you should have the materials left over to make this project uh, drill uh, something to put some holes in it with and that's about all you need you will want to begin by drilling holes around the outer perimeter of the mask Next, take your netting and cut it to size to fit the mask. Once you have the net cut to size, go ahead and lay it over the mask and uh, put three to five or ten or however big of a hole you made strands of jute through it. And then wrap it around the outside of the edge of the mask and then safely tie it to the mask with using a double overhand knot or any sort of creative knot that you want to tie. Once you have the outer perimeter of the net secured to the mask, you can go ahead and begin tying the jute twine or uh, burlap to the net itself. Essentially, you're going to make a little miniature ghillie suit on your face. Remember that you're going to want to blend the colors with your suit. So if one side of your suit is a patch of green, you don't want to put a big patch of brown right in the middle of your face as it's going to stand out. You may need to try on your ghillie suit or look at a picture of it and blend the colors naturally. Be careful not to add too much jute. Too much jute in this small of an application is going to make it too bushy and it may stand out or get caught on something and not work very well. Once you have finished tying all your jute on, go ahead and try it on with your suit and make sure that it looks good. An alternative to using a mesh mask I'll show you here. Um, I already had this built. Essentially it's a piece of elastic that was uh, cut to shape to be able to fit around my head and then intertwined through a piece of netting and the same principle applies with the jute tying it to the front. I personally prefer going with the uh, mesh mask because then when you get shot in the face it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> 